This is a short video about fluorescent lights and how I replace some of them uh, in certain applications. Uh, what you're looking at here is my fluorescent light cemetery and um, they're both LED and normal fluorescent lights and I've had some problems with them and I'll show you what those problems are. So this is my garage and this is a, a fluorescent light I had hanging up over my bench in the garage. I used to use fluorescent lights pretty much everywhere. Downstairs in the shop, um, in the lab, in the uh, uh, in the garage here. And this is a typical one I had. And these are the problems I've had with it. First of all, my biggest complaint is when the temperature goes below about 40 degrees, certainly below 30 degrees, the lights get very dim and they flicker until they warm up. And even when they warm up, they don't seem all that bright. Uh, the other problems I've had with them is the switch inside here uh, goes. This is a fairly harsh environment in the uh, in the garage. Uh, the light bulbs don't seem to last as long as as they used to in the old days and I don't know why that is but uh, they seem to to go out uh, more often. The ends get burned and you can tell there's a problem. So I wanted to come up with something else. I did try uh, LED replacements and um, they work to a degree but uh, at the time I did this project they were expensive and the contacts at the end of the fluorescent bulbs are really kind of difficult to get into the, the sockets uh, and twist them uh, and sometimes they get corroded due to the harsh environment here and you have to wiggle them. So I came up with a, a pretty simple solution to this. It's not applicable everywhere but it works for me in a lot of places in the home and that's these LED light bars. And you can see one over here. I have five LEDs, uh, floodlights, and I have them just simply wired, wired in parallel. And then um, I have a junction box in the end, and I have the power cord going to, to an outlet, and then I have a wire hanging down with the switch. So this switch um, turns all of them on and off. And you can mix and match these. I have a couple of uh, warm LED floodlights and a couple of cool LED light bulbs and I'm seeing how those work mixed together. But um, the, the, the whole thing uh, was fairly inexpensive. You can get these LED floodlights now on sale for about two bucks a piece. So the LED floodlights together were about uh, ten dollars for five. And it's just a two by four or a piece of wood. Uh, and you can see here it's uh, just a, as I said a junction box. And I drilled holes with a 2x4, connected all the wires in parallel, and then uh, hung it from the ceiling where the old fluorescent light uh, was. So let me show you another application uh, using these LED light bulbs. Okay, so here's another application of these light bars. Uh, this is a, my greenhouse. This is where I put my uh, seedlings when I start them for the, for the year. And you can see up there that I have special grow lights. So you can mix and match these two. Uh, I have grow lights, special grow lights on the first level and I got the regular LED floodlights mixed in with some grow lights on the second level and I also have a third level. So the thing I like about these, they're easy to replace, relatively cheap, they don't flicker in cold weather. So I put these uh, on a metro cart and what this looks like, you can see here is a little bit of woodworking. Uh, just put a piece of wood and a wood clamp. This is one by lumber. A wood clamp and some grooves for the, uh, the Metro Carts frame to fit through. And then just uh, again uh, junction boxes, outlet boxes, all wired in parallel. And uh, the wood clamps the uh, the, the uh, lights to the metro cart and you can kind of place them where you want. Easy to replace, uh, cheap, and they work for me. So that's what I've been, uh, that's what I'm replacing some of my LED fluorescent light fixtures with. I used to have uh, four fixtures here. They also take less power. I did have four, uh, uh, four bulbs per, per level. So two fluorescent fixtures, and these seem to provide just as much light, and they uh, do consume less power. 
Okay, that's it. If you have any comments, let me know. And uh, please subscribe. Thanks.